This is a Harris a torch. It's a little different than most torches. It has an off and on uh, automatic lock on it. You can lock it onto a certain position. Harris 50, uh, 15 and 4. And the cutting tips in number 36. This maybe it looks like a small torch, but I'll tell you what, this boy does a beautiful job. I'll give it a try. See what happens here. See right now the valves are I can open these up and they're off. So I press that lever down. Once you get it adjusted, all you have to do, push it on, there she goes, ready to go. Shuts off completely. Put this lever down, it's on. Ready to go again. Once you adjust these two knobs, that's off, that's on. And the shutter it out completely, just turn them off. Put your oxygen and settle in. And that's just a regular, regular cutting torch in. Works good. What's nice about it is when you're welding or brazing. Here again, this is a brazing welding tip, a specialty tip. Um, you can take this out of the end here and you can buy different size tips to screw in this little, I guess they call that a butt head. I'm not sure what they call that. But, I already had it adjusted. So here, I'll start over again. Um, turn your settling on a little bit. You got to remember to press this down. Lock it on if you want. Get it adjusted to where you want it. All you have to do, when you want to relight it, it's already adjusted. Press it down, and it's right back to where it was. Nice weld, nice weld and tip. I just first time ever used one of these. With that type of butt tip on there. Gives you a real uh, pointy uh, flame, which is nice. If you leave it locked on, it acts just like a normal torch. We use these in production. Work, but I'll tell you what, it makes it nice. Are you done? That's it. I'm going to start again, flip it on, ready to go. I'll tell you what, it is clean. This thing doesn't have a dent in it. 
this can't be more than can't be more than I don't know year old probably if, if that it probably hasn't been used a couple times still has a paper tag on it uh, the tort the tip itself you can change out and what's nice about it is you can use it's just the size of that thread is the size of the Victor uh, tips. It'll, the Victor tip will screw right down in there. I'll get one here. This is a number five Victor tip. I'm going to say Victor style. It doesn't say Victor on it, but I know. It's the exact same thread. Again, I didn't adjust this one to where it should be. Take a break for a minute, do something. Porch is already set. Come back to what you're doing. Flip it on. Ready to go. That's a nice setup. tip here, um, it's a specialty tip, I guess they call this a bud tip, it's not a rose bud, but you can unscrew this top part of this uh, tip out and adjust the different size, this is a number three that's in with it, it does a nice job, it's a nice a pointy tip, pointy flame on it, and all you have to do is unscrew this part, leave your mixer on, and a Victor tip will fit right in this. Same thread. Now, I'm not sure what the size is. I know I have it upstairs written down. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than a normal Harris uh, tip, like for uh, 85 or 49, uh, or 42 rather, handle. But they fit right in there, fit in nice, so you can use all your Victor tips right in there. You get a couple extra mixers, I mean, you can leave them on. And these, you buy them separate too. This part and this part. So it's got a lot of variation to it. The cutting tip's going to go with it. Cutting head. You can use it with it. So it's going to be a good all-around uh, setup. I don't know if they're made for a cutting head, but it works with a cutting head. So... It's an all-purpose tip, or torch. This is a zero tip. And I said, it doesn't matter, your mixer. A lot of the victors are marked on them, the mixer size. And that's a bunch of baloney anyhow. You can change their tips too. This torch has a pilot light on it. It's one of the most important things I forgot about this torch. It has actually three settings. There's, there's full uh, acetylene. And
there's your pilot light. And it has a little adjustment on it. You can adjust that up and down. Adjust it down a little bit. Or you can just do it without the pilot light. Just shut that screw down a little bit. Ready to go. Adjust the pilot light, turn it on a little bit. You got a pilot light. Once you get used to using it, it looks pretty good. Good torch.